Welcome back once again everyone, I'm K Plays Games. this is EVE Online, I'm in my pod, so that can only mean we're about to fit another new ship. And today we're going to be doing a battleship for level 4 missions. We have 4 left to do in this first round of this fitting series. They are in alphabetical order, the Abaddon, the Apocalypse, the Armageddon and the Tempest. Hopefully we'll get one of the first 3 today, it's not up to me, it's up to the random number generator. So let's consult him, shall we? Let's say a minimum one, maximum four. Give me a number of... <laughs> okay, okay, right, that's fine. Number four it is, we're doing a Minmatar Tempest. Which must mean in the next three episodes, we're going to be doing all three of the Amar battleships. Now, this is not my fault. The random number generator must be obeyed. So let's open the fitting panel. Select Tempest and get down to work. Let's simulate the ship. As always, we shall start with looking at the traits of the ship. And the Tempest traits are per level of Minmatar battleship. Skill, you get 7.5% bonus to large projectile turret rate of fire, so that's DPS. And 5% bonus to large projectile turret damage, which is also DPS. So this thing is all about the DPS. And it has the same role bonus that every battleship has these days. Extra bonuses to fitting shield extenders, armor plates and bulkheads. But they're passive tank and we like to be active tanked. Okay, let's have a look at the high slots. There are eight high slots, but we only have six turret slots and four launcher slots. So we could go four turrets and four launchers or six turrets and two launchers or six turrets and two something else. There are five mid power slots. There are six low power slots. So because we have more low power than mid power, makes me think maybe do armor tank on this thing. And as usual, we have three rig slots with 400 calibration for those rigs. So let's click the hardware. I think we'll address the armor tank first. We'll do a reactive armor hardener and a large armor repairer. Two. And I think we'll make this into a bit of a brawling ship because we've done far too many boring micro jump drive snipers for the last few episodes. So with that in mind, let's not go to afterburners, let's go to micro warp drive, see how fast we can get this thing. Let's do a quad lift restrain because it's always the best one you can do. Not bad, 1164 meters a second in a battleship. That's not terrible. Right, the cap is definitely going to need some help, so we'll put a compact cap battery there. And turrets wise, we're going to go auto cannons large. We're going to get some Tech 2 800mm repeating cannons because, of course. And to finish off the weapon loadout, I think I'm going to do two rapid heavy missile launchers. Because, again, why not? So we'll put some charges in these. We'll do the missile launchers first. We'll do Scourge Fury for extra DPS. And in the guns, I th think we'll just go... Well, we've done Tech 2 ammo for the missiles, so we might as well do at least faction ammo for the guns. Make this thing pretty brutal. There we are, 782 DPS already. And we are going to boost that, but only the projectile weapons. There's not much point putting missile ballistic controls on. We only have two missile launchers. Increasing these two by 10% isn't going to do anything. So we'll put three gyro stabilizer twos on this thing. And then in mid slots, we're going to need at least one tracking computer. The capacitor is going to need some help. And I think because this is going to be a close range brawler, we should probably get another tanking module in this low slot because it's going to be up close. I mean, the missiles go to 47, auto cannons go to 33, which isn't terrible. I mean, 33 and 47 is not too close, but we are going to have to get relatively close to the enemy. That's going to be within firing range of most of the battleships we're going to be facing in level 4 missions. We seem to have a decent amount of CPU left so we can do an Energize Armor Resistance Membrane and we'll do a Multi-Spectrum Tech 2 just to push these up a little bit more. Ok, 
can we get another large cap battery on? Yes, we can quite easily. That's interesting. Still only six minutes and 56, which isn't great. We could get a third cap battery on and that gives us 10 minutes 18. Is that better or worse than a cap recharger too? It's better. So I'm thinking maybe instead of doing the compact large cap batteries, we'll have a look at Tech 2s because they do provide even more cap. But then it's leaving us with barely any CPU for anything else. So let's not do that. We'll put the two compacts back on. Third compact will give us 10 minutes 18 and a cap recharger will give us 10 minutes and 7. 10 18 is better. The cap on the ship is really quite terrible. While I think about the cap, I'm just going to put some combat drones on this thing because you always should if you can. We'll put five Tech 2 Hobgoblins on and we'll do five Hammerhead 2s as well. There we go. So the DPS is now 1290, which is not bad for a Tech 1 battleship. Not bad at all. Okay, rigs wise, we're going to have to do at least one cap rig here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Semiconductor memory cell 2315. 2722 is more than 2315, so a large Tech 2 cap control circuit goes on. And another one of these caps only six minutes with the micro watt drive running. And that's with the watt drive and the large armor repair are both running. Now let's filter by remaining resources and rig and sub subsystem slots. And let's see what we can do. Projectile weapon rigs. Ambit extension, I believe, is fall off. Yep, locus coordinator is optimal range. Increasing the optimal range of your auto cannons isn't really worth it. This one might be the better one. That's tracking speed. And it wouldn't, it would put our power grid up a bit, but we've still got lots to play with. So we'll think about that. We could do that just to get the tracking speed up to actually apply more of this damage. Or if we have a look at the ambit extension, what does that make the fall off? The fall off goes up to 37 from 33. I'm not sure that's worth it, considering we do move at a thousand meters a second. That would, what, save four seconds travel time? I'm not sure that's worth it. I think the tracking is probably the best one to do. We'll see if there's anything else we can't do that's better. Like an explosive armor reinforcer, just to push the explosive up a little bit. Just in case we come come up against Angel Cartel. But I don't think we need to do that. I would rather have the tracking speed of the autocannons better to actually apply more of the damage. So that is what I am going to do. And I do believe that is the fit complete. So we have 1,290 DPS. The capacitor is pretty garbage, but it's stable, at least with the micro watt drive off. So once we get into
the light 75% armor and then turn it on just to preserve the cap a little bit. Do we have skins for this ship? I have no idea. Click on personalization tab. Oh wow, we've got lots of skins. Let's have a look at them. That one's yellow and horrible. That one's black and blue. That one is the Hot Wheels one. Doesn't look very good. And all right, this one's kind of funky. I think we'll, we'll use this one. I have no idea where I got this skin from. Probably a log in reward. Okay, these are merchants who are being used as bait to draw out the pirate forces so we can kill them. And from those pirate forces, we have to loot a key to open the gate. The key is not consumed, so if you've done this mission before, you'll have the... Take the key with you, you can go straight through the gate. There's the bad guys, and this time it's Serpentus, which is great. So let's just approach them we have to get within range which is 33 and we should turn on our tactical overlay and we'll just double click up here so we're not approaching them directly because that would be bad okay there's our first volunteer because these guys are all large ships I think we can put the missiles and the medium drones on one of the battle cruisers. Turn off the micro warp drive now, but we will keep moving. Do apologize for the lighting glitches, not my fault. That is CCP's fault. So we'll just keep moving. Alright, the drones have splatted something. And we have killed something, so we should probably start working on the High Admiral. And turn our rep on, because we're about to dip into armour. Okay, so drones and missiles on cruisers seems to work pretty damn well, I think. Should we do keep it ranged to something like 25? Just to line ourselves up with this High Admiral. Okay, the reactive armor hardener has changed as much as it's going to. Well, as soon as we did keep it ranged, it exploded, so that seemed to have worked. We will take this opportunity to reload the rapid heavy missiles because they take 35 seconds to reload. Might as well do it then, there was no point in just firing five missiles at this, well, five times two, at that. And then sit through the 35 second reload. Our tank is under quite a lot of pressure, but that's because we're doing keep it range. Better think all these guys will die before our tank is in big trouble. Yeah, it seems to be holding fine where it is now. And the missiles are reloaded. Can't I be bothered to open fire with them? Not really. And our guns are doing, what, 1,036 if I remember rightly? Yeah, 1,036 DPS from the turrets, another 158 from the drones. I don't think we need the extra 154 from the missiles right now. Because I can't be bothered to reload them again, that's why. There aren't new weapon sounds in EVE Online right now. I'm not sure if they're good or bad or indifferent. Let's do a super mega close up. So far, so good. Tank's almost back to normal. And it's almost the last ship that you kill in here that drops the key, which will be this guy. There it is, in that cargo container there. Bring the guys back, reload everything. Turn the tank off. Get the key. Right, that's room one done. No, well, room zero. Room one is through the gate. If we see Angel Cartel in the next room, we will... We will have to change over to fusion ammo. 
That's the gate key. Oh, let's go straight to the gate and get right through it. Just to preserve the cap. But I shouldn't have really turned off. Well, actually, no. Turning off the reactive armor hardener was quite clever because at the minute it was on 30% kinetic and 30% thermal. And now we've reset it to 15 to all resistances. So it's quicker to change to explosive if it's angel cartel or EM and thermal if it's blood raiders. Almost there. Go straight through the gate when we land. And I think it's probably prudent to have the armor tank back on immediately. There is a station here that we can run away to if we have to. I will group all weapons at the moment, just in case we do have to reload. In which case I've only got one button to right click. If it's something that uses kinetic, which it is, it's Pythatis. So, right, this is the leader of the pirates. Yep, Anire Scarlet. Scarlet is the leader of the pirates. If you can kill her very quickly, then that's mission complete and you don't have to do the rest of the mission. Nope, she has disappeared through the gate. You can actually kill her in this room if you have extremely high volley damage weapons and fast target locking. Okay, now we are in trouble because we have been jammed, which means we can only target the things which have jammed us. Which apparently is this thing. So let's get after it. And absolutely everything has to get shooting at this battleship. Usually I would take down the battle cruisers first. Which I might try and do with the drones and the missiles. Dang it. See, we got jammed again and lost target lock on the battle cruisers, so we'll just put the missiles back on the battleships, which are the ones that are actually jamming us. Okay, it looks like one battleship is about to explode, which is great. We are going to have to keep moving. And we'll put all of our own weapons on the battleships. ECM was changed to a taunt. Before it was changed to a taunt, it would literally remove all your targeting ability and you wouldn't be able to target anything at all because it is a taunt you can always target the ship which is jamming you which is why we've been able to maintain at least one target lock tank seems to be holding quite well all oh, right the drones have killed a battle cruiser that's excellent well done drones nicely done gentlemen okay i think We'll be able to smash this revolter ourselves. Yeah, not a problem. Goodbye, battle cruiser. And I think we'll help the drones just get the last battle cruiser off the field because battle cruisers contribute quite a lot of DPS. And now we can get all of our fifteen hundred odd DPS on this. A module has run out of charges. Which has just gone down by 150 for the next 35 seconds. Which is probably the remaining Charlotte will be
so we can at least speed tank some of the damage as we continue to grind off, off the damage. There should be reinforcements in this room. I believe they spawn in this big cloud over here. That is another pithy ship dead. And where are they going to go now? The Conquistador. I'm just letting the drones select which target we're going to be shooting at for me. How is the tank on the ship so good? Oh. oh yes, reactive armor hardener has moved to 60% maximum on a kinetic. Has run out of charges. So obviously these guys are firing only kinetic at us and we are simply ignoring 77% of that damage, which is fantastic. All right, drones, let's go. We may have to micro-warp drive towards the reinforcements when they appear. Because I think we're going to be out of range of them. Come on, missiles, reload. There we go. I hope I brought enough ammunition with me. This mission does go on for quite some time. This guy is also 1.162 and a half thousand isk in bounty, which is great. Oh, reinforcements, and they're literally right here. Okay, we'll just keep moving. And we'll just fire everything and the drones on this. It's 1350 DPS if we use the hammerheads which is what we have been able to use, luckily, all mission. There's not too many frigates in this mission. It's mainly all big ships, which is great. It means you can put out your medium drones, or heavy drones, for that matter. And who are the drones going to attack now? This extinguisher. Okay. Not a problem. I can do that. So I think maybe I'll just double-click towards the cloud. Because I'm sure that bad guys spawn over here, so I'll just move in that direction. And you have to say, this fit has taken me by surprise. I was expecting this to be an absolute disaster, and it's actually been absolutely fine. Wow. Okay, drones. This extinguisher. Big bounty targets in this mission. It's brilliant. A module has run out of charges. And the missiles have run out again. That is the problem with using a rapid heavy missiles. They do do a lot of damage. They do apply it really well to most things. But the reload time absolutely kills you. I would not rely on them as a primary weapon. They're fine as a secondary weapon because as we know, we've, we're doing over a thousand DPS with our guns anyway. But it is nice to have that extra little boost. Okay. No more reinforcements, apparently. So bring the drones back. Reload the guns and we'll go through the gate. Interesting. I was sure that that guy spawned over here. As I said, this mission is pretty randomised. So again, we'll just turn off the armor, the reactive armor hardener and turn it back on to reset it to 15 across all resistances. Just in case the next bad guys do EM and thermal or explosive. Because it's quicker to change it from 15 everything than 60 on one thing. Okay, here we go. Orb drive active. Again, I'll turn the armor tank on. If any of the rooms does become too difficult, because we have killed the mission target, we can just leave at any point and turn the mission in. There is no shame in doing that. None at all. Okay, this is the final room. Wow, okay. And what we have down there are Angel Cartel, because I saw Gistums. All this is Gisty. We're going to have to move closer to them whilst we reload. There are some frigates here, which are arch, so they're elite frigates, which is bad. Okay, this is going to hurt. Right, drones out, kill the arch, gistate. 
Again, we should destroy the battle cruisers first, so I'm going to double click towards them. We're in range for the missiles, so let's start with the missiles. Come on, ship, move faster. We need to get into range. There we go. We're in auto cannon range of that battle cruiser now, which is good. There's another battle cruiser there, who is the Giston Primaz. And the Giston Primus is our next target. We've been webbed. This is bad. Why did the drones attack a cruiser? Oh, this is going bad. The drones have got to get these frigates off us so we can get back up to speed. That's good. The battle cruiser absolutely exploded. That's what we like to see. The drones are now getting aggressed by the frigates. So we're going to have to bring them back in as soon as we've killed one of them. And back you come, guys. These arch Gistam ships are repairing too much of their own armor. I'm not their shields, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. We are gonna have to keep moving. Right. We should actually head straight down. Gonna have to align to the station. Okay, we managed to kill one ship. if we can't destroy this cruise missile batteries because these things hurt a lot. I'm just aligning to the station in case we have to escape. Bring the drones back. Okay, we're now out of range of the gun batteries, which is not a good thing. But we still managed to kill it though, which is good. You know, the problem we have here is that we have a mix of Angel Cartel who are kinetic and explosive and the guys up here are all Blood Raiders who are EM and Thermal, so we're going to have to reload and the tank's not going to like it. The reactive armor hardener is going to be all over the place, which is not great. Okay, let's do a little squirt. The tank is kind of recovered now because we managed to get out of range of all this stuff up here. The capacitor was not happy. 
but the capacitor seems to be recovering. Get the drones on this battle cruiser as well. Cool. Um, that battle cruiser now, please, drones. Again, there are two or three reinforcement waves in this final room. I think the tank is coming back to life. A module has run out of charges. All right, drones, you get rid of the last missile battery. That will help hugely. Yeah, the tank's kind of, sort of, just about managing. Right, then that guy. At least there's no more explosives being shot at us, so it has moved to EM and thermal. So that's as good as our resistances are going to get to these guys. 79, 65 is pretty good. Tanks holding steady, capacitors kind of slowly recovering. We don't have to speed tank right now. Problem is, because we've moved close to the station, the um, the reinforcements appear just behind it. Well, that's kind of a good thing. It means I don't have to move. Let's just put the missiles on it as well. Even though they're kinetic missiles that I've got loaded and they're pretty resistant to kinetic, it is at least more damage being applied to the target. Any damage is good damage. And this guy is quite far away, so I'm going to have to double click and approach him. Give it a squirt of micro warp drive. The drones are in range, that's good. The missiles are in range, that's good. The guns will very soon be in range. Tank is coming back, which is great. Okay, I think we're in range now. There we go. Drones have just about made it there. And we'll see what the reinforcements are. Are they going to be Serpentis or are they going to be more Blood Raiders? Who knows? I'll just zoom out so I can see them as soon as they appear. It's more Blood Raiders. Uh, we'll just keep moving the way we are. That's fine. It's not a problem. Like right, drones. No, attack the same thing as me, please. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll just keep moving in the way we were facing. We're kind of cutting across them, which is going to make them miss us quite a lot. Most of them are hitting, but every now and then charges. we're seeing some lasers and missing has us. Run out of charges. Right then, this one, and get the guns straight on it, great. Tank seems to be alright, because it reactive armour hardener has not had to move. Is this thing going to die before the missiles reload? Let's see. Almost. So I think we'll put the missiles in the Apostle. Yeah. Yep, just about. And I don't want to move too far away from these guys, so I'm just going to double click close to this guy. You never want to actually directly approach something. Because you don't want to have your angular velocity at zero, because they will hit you very hard. I believe there's another reinforcement wave after this one which should be the final one, if I'm remembering this mission correctly. It's been a while since I've run it. Well, this guy's going to die pretty quick. Where's the other one? It's up here, so we just double click upwards. And are we within gun range? Probably, yeah, that'll do. Okay. And we'll see where the last reinforcement wave appears. Not too much loot in this mission. And that cargo container will just be ammunition from one of the gun batteries we destroyed. The missile batteries, I should say. So that'll be like a hundred Scourge cruise missiles or something. It's not going to be another implant. And this guy is moving away from me. It's quite annoying. 
Let's give it a squirt of micro warp, just to get our guns within their fall off range. He seemed to be running away run faster than we could catch him. There we go, that's better. Now he's going down. Okay, we're literally right in them. Let's just reload the guns. Yeah, hi guys, don't mind me. I'm just, I'm just gonna give us a squirt of micro warp because we're a little bit too close. All right, that seems to be fine. Cardinal, they're all worth just under a million isk each. Nice big bounties in this mission. And I think another squirt of micro warp. Just one cycle. Just to boost their speed a little bit. Right, drones on this one next, please. They are all hitting us, but the reactive armor hardener seems to be doing its job. Yeah, some of them are missing us, that's good. As long as we keep moving, even at our slow speed, we will make them miss sometimes. Yeah, the tank's under a fair amount of pressure, but we should be okay. As long as we kill them faster than our tank is going down, we should be alright. We're on the verge of getting too far away from them now, so I'm gonna double click in between these two guys and give it a squirt of micro warp once we're aligned a module has run out of charges just to bring ourselves back into range double click somewhere near it more micro warp I think these cardinals were trying to pull range from me to get us into their optimal range. I think that's why they're suddenly 20 or 30 kilometers away. Right, and this is the next one. It's just the one that's down here, so let's double click relatively close to it. Give ourselves a squirt of micro warp climb just to boost our speed up a little bit. Just for one cycle. As we see on this one, he does have a blue arrow heading away from us, so they are indeed trying to fly away from us to establish a, their optimal range. So we're going to have to chase them and make sure they don't do that. That one's very nearly dead, so we can start double-clicking towards the one that's trying to run away. And there we are. I believe this is the last... the last... NPC in the mission, unless there's another reinforcement wave. I could have misremembered this mission. Alright, go, go, Brawler Tempest. Tank's fine now, it's only us versus one enemy battleship. It's dropping pretty quickly. Jolly good show. Alright, no more bad guys, mission complete. That was not too bad. For some reason it's letting us complete it remotely. I'm not sure why you would do that. It's not an epic arc. Alright, so that's how you do Dread Pirate Scarlet. And this ship now, when I hand it out eventually, will come with a gate key in it. I'm keeping the implant. How much ammo did we get through? Uh, quite a lot. Yikes. But this ship seems to work. That was a very difficult level 4 mission against what we had. Serpentus and Angel Cartel and Gurustas and the Blood Raiders all in that mission.
See, the rapid heavy missiles kind of suck against frigates, but they're good against cruisers. These are chief safeguards. They're not elite. Can't really be bothered to put my... I will put the drones out. We'll get them to go and help the... Mind you, by the time the drones get there, that may be dead. Yeah, I'll just bring the drones back. They're not really contributing very much. And we'll put the missiles on these destroyers up here to aggress this group next. We'll just hold control and draw a box. Well, that was weird. We've managed to target the station and like none of the ships that were outside it. There we go, that's better. And we'll just instantly kill these destroyers and there they go, goodbye. And there's a battleship. And there's more frigates. Okay, forgot that they spawned. There are a few reinforcement waves. It's only in this first room though. Or is it the second room as well? I often get this mission mixed up with Vengeance and the Assault and Massive Attack. They're all very similar. I do sometimes get confused. But auto cannons can track frigates at 20 kilometers, no problem at all. Then we'll go for this battle cruiser and battleship group here. And then the final group at the back. Oh, half shield warning. Wow. We've cleared half the room and we're only in half shields. Not the most difficult of missions. These guys are a little bit far away actually, so let's just make a warp towards them for one cycle. Missiles are in range, we'll just fire the missiles. And now the autocannons are in range, so I'll just bring the ship to a halt, spit out the medium drones, and get them to go and kill something. You can start working on one of the battleships. No. Do that battle cruiser, please. That's a more intelligent use of their time. Right, so battle cruiser dead. Then on to the battleship. Everything's only yellow boxing because he's obviously blaster armed. Not that it's going to help them very much. You don't want to be directly approaching a ship with autocannons, guys. You're not thinking this through. You're not strategizing very well. I'm going to have to double click towards this group at the back to get into range. We'll just give it a squirt of micro warp to get us up there. See, these battleships just die in no time at all. Either some structures in this room, like this hangar, and maybe a couple of other things that drop random trade goods. Not worth the time and effort to blow them up. Nothing special drops. Well, we should reload the missiles. Maybe we should battle the ships. I think we'll get the drones to kill the personnel transports. These transports don't drop anything. Come to a halt. Tell the drones to attack the transport. Mm, nice lighting in this room. Screenshot time. There we go, that's enough of that. Our shield has not dropped much below 40% in this room, and we're an armor tank ship. And this room had a lot of bad guys in it. This mission is not difficult. 
Oh, he's finally red box. He's got his blasters in range. Let's have a quick look at him before he explodes. Where are his blasters? There they are. And he's dead. That did not take long. We should uh, reload everything. And back towards the gate. And we'll go straight through. Right, next group of bad guys. Yeah, there's reinforcements in this room. When you attack some of the guys down here, they bring in more guys. The guys up here do not, so we'll just draw, draw a big box by holding control. And let's smash the battle cruisers first because we know they're really squishy. We'll put our heavy missiles on the cruisers. Okay, these frigates are a little bit outside of our range. But they shall approach us, which is fine. Everything's going to be on approach. We'll just pick them off as they come. In fact, I'm just going to... Yeah, we'll just wait for them to come to us. I was going to say I'll just double click towards them, but there's the slight problem of this massive bit of scenery in the way. So perhaps we will not do that. Let's get out our drones at least to go and kill these little frigates. Off you go, guys. Go on, have fun. And away they go. Yeah, mind you, I think most of the enemies are going to get stuck on scenery because the developers of EVE Online cannot sort out the scenery and AI and geometry in their missions. NPC always gets stuck on stuff, it's so annoying. Right, I believe this cruiser is within autocannon range. Yes, he is. Right. That will just disappear in a matter of seconds. Off it goes. And that destroyer shall also just disappear. Off that goes. Big drones, you can come back now. There's no more frigates to play with. We are in range with that has battle run cruiser. Charges. Alrighty then. This is going exactly as easily as I thought it would. We're going to have to move closer to this battleship. It's stuck in the scenery. And here's the reinforcement wave, which is some frigates, which might be annoying. They might aggress the drones. But we'll just destroy this battle cruiser as we fly around this base towards the battleship. Go. All right, drones, go on, chew on the frigates. And we can now turn the micro-warp drive off. We have cleared the base. Right, let's try and help the drones with the frigates. And the drones are getting eaten by the frigates. Come back, come back. I thought that might happen. Yeah, we're going to lose one here. Yep, dead. Dang it. I knew that was going to happen, that was my fault. And then all the auto cannons are missing, so we'll just switch over to killing battleships, get out the light drones, get them to kill these frigates. That's what we should have done in the first place. We actually turn on the armor repairer. Battleship dead, and next battleship about to die. Right, now the drones can come back. Just double click around this stupid bit of scenery here. Put out our four remaining medium drones. We can just start working on the next one. I'm going to have to make the warp drive to get around this bit of scenery because it's.
to kill this battleship if I turned on all my weapons. That has been known to help. Duh. We're going to have to just keep moving at our slow speed just to decrease the incoming damage. The drones and heavy missiles will get rid of the cruisers in no trouble at all. I'm going to stop fighting at that battleship, it's out of range. I'm going to start working on this one that is in range. I may have to chase down that one that's down there. I'm not sure if it's moving away from us. Yeah, it is. It's trying to pull range. A module has run out of charges. Taking a fair amount of damage in this final room. Because the bad guys are trying to pull range on us, which is a little bit annoying. I might have to just squirt the micro warp drive a couple of times just to chase them down. It's a half armor warning. Should be fine though. We'll just micro. We'll leave the micro warp drive on for a little while, just to speed tank as we approach this battleship. Come on, drones, kill the cruiser. Remove its DPS from the field, please. Thank you. No, come and help me here with this one. That's more like it. That's much better. Right, everything on this battleship. Just keep our speed up nice and high. We've got the capacitor to do so, so we shall take advantage of that. And the next one we want to kill is slowly coming around the station, so we'll just go and intercept it. just in front of it. Good, it's dead. And bring the drones back. Whoops, the drones accidentally shot one shot at the named NPC and spawned the spider drones, which is not good. But we shall be fine. Come on, let's intercept this core admiral. Let's go for it. Uh, we won't be intercepting anything now. We've been webbed by the spider drones. We're going to grind it to a halt, but we are in range of the core admiral, which is at least something. The drones are going to have to get rid of these spider drones as quick as possible before the core admiral runs away and establishes its orbit again. And now we're in range of the heavy missile batteries, which isn't great. I think the court admiral is going to die. Spider drones are really annoying. They're really fast and really small, and even light drones have trouble killing them quickly, as we can see. That's one dead. So our speed will go up from the nine meters a second it was. Just approach this named NPC, smash the turrets just because they're easy to kill and it will remove some DPS in the field. There's one. And that's the other one. Our speed is still only 4.9. 6.2 at maximum with two spider drones. Spider drone webs are like ridiculously powerful as well. Now I'm going to directly approach the, the named NPC and open fire on him with everything. 
Then I'll zoom in and click just to the side of him. Here are his reinforcements, so we'll stop shooting at him. Good, the drones have finally finished killing the spider drones, so we can switch to all this badness. So one battle cruiser gone. Very soon to be the second. Yep, there it goes. They finally targeted the frigates, thank goodness. We're webbed again because these are elite frigates. We're going to have to watch them because they might yellow box, which means they're dropping aggro on us and shooting at the drones. That would be a bad thing. Alright, one gone, which is good. Yeah, they seem quite happy to be webbing us, which is fine by me. And the named NPC is going to die before the drones have finished killing all the frigates. For sure, yep. Gone. Mission complete. Again, this cargo container was left by one of the gun turrets, so that'll be a few... That'll be like a hundred heavy missiles or something. I'm just going to reload my guns. Right, mission complete. Drones in. We're out of here. Web drive active. All right, two missions complete. This ship seems to work rather well. We did have to speed tank a couple of times just to reduce the incoming damage, but the outgoing damage was enough that it was able to knock DPS off the field and save itself. Brawlers are sometimes good fun. Hope you find this entertaining and informative, and I hope to see you again for the next time. And the next time out, we will for sure be doing an Amar battleship, because that's all we have left to do in this series. So until we meet again, do look after yourself, and I'll talk to you again soon.